Hey guys, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Now today's card, I have used um, die cuts for this really cute Easter bunny sitting in a basket full of candy and Easter eggs, and I love how it came together. So we are going to be die cutting, and this basket die cut is from Honey Bee Stamps Bushel and a Peck Honey Cuts. Um, and there is a stamp set that goes along with it, but I did not want to stamp the basket. It looked a little more fall and I wanted to make this um, a little more Easter-like. And then here is this really cute bunny, My Favorite Things Cottontail Cutie. Um, super cute, you guys. So I'm running that through some cream cardstock um, from Simon Says Stamp. I, whenever I get my card kits, I just stick that colored cardstock aside in a group that's just for Simon Says Stamp. But I did do a cream. I didn't want to do a stark white bunny because um, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do on my background. While I was doing this, doing the die cutting and everything, I was kind of thinking about how I wanted the background to be. I didn't want it to be a complete um, big scene card, um, but I didn't also want it to be stark white. So you'll see what we do. I was playing around with it. Now here is some pink cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and um, I cut out the ears and the nose and everything out of that. I didn't cut apart my dies for this because they were so little and you kind of didn't need to. You just run it through and whatever pieces you don't need you can either save or toss. So um, pop all those pieces out and then I'm getting some black because I did need some black. I didn't know if I was going to do a black nose, obviously black eyes, but I didn't know if I was going to do a black nose. But I guess you could do a colored eye on this too and that would have been really cute. That's something to think about for the future. So run that through. I am using the Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cut machine. And as you can see that my my little um, platforms are definitely used. <laughs> Okay, so now these are eggs from Lawn Fawns Mini Easter Eggs, and also their paper. Um, it's called the Spiffy Speckles paper, and it looks like speckled egg, um, like speckled eggs. And so I just, as soon as I saw that paper, I'm like, now this is what I need to use to cut out um, these cute eggs. So running that through, um, I think I had to cut out six or seven eggs. And then there is a little piece in there that looks like the egg is cracked open. And I die cut two eggs with this little, cute little cracked open piece. Um, that was another thing with this card. This was kind of a work in progress the whole time. I didn't know if I was gonna have candy coming out or little chickens coming out, um, but I decided on candy. Now here is that die cut basket. Again, that's from Honey Honeybee Stamps, Bushel and a Peck Honey Cuts. And you could ink this up. I'm using my Copic markers, um, coloring that in RV 21, 14, and 13, and um, adding some shadows and things like that. You could also ink this up with um, like Distress Oxide inks or any other kind of ink, you know, color that you like. You could um, use an ink blending tool and ink this up. But I wanted to have more shadowing. I mean, you could get that effect with your um, distress inks, things like that. But I just felt like I wanted to color this whole thing. And I wasn't worried about it being perfect because we are going to be using an embossing folder um, to give this um, die cut some texture. So coloring that up, um, then I'm going to be just putting that aside and letting it dry for a bit. And then we can run that through the die cut machine. So now um, on Spellbinders, it tells you how to sandwich your things for whatever you're die cutting. So I used the sandwich that it told me to do, ran that through my die cut machine. The embossing folder that I used is from Cuddlebugs. It's called Kitchen Weave. Um, and then I just took a pink marker around the edge of that because there was a little bit of white edge left from when the die cut. So now I'm going to ink up my background. And while I was sitting there, I thought, you know, if I just lightly ink it up with a little bit of green, I used Twisted Citron in my Distress Oxide inks, and then a little bit of tumbled glass above that. It would just give a really soft background that kind of had a scene look to it, but 
wasn't a full scene and it didn't distract from the stuff at, at the you know in the front of the card the bunny and the Easter basket and all of that so that's what I did with the distress oxide inks now let's get this cute little bunny together. Um, I used some Ranger Multimedia Matte, glued down the little body. You're not even gonna see the body, so I wasn't wor worried about adding all the parts to it. It was just kind of for me, so I could line things up properly. And then I used a tape runner and adhered the cute head. And I'm just lining up this basket. Now, between the bunny and the basket, I mean, if you did a five by seven card, you could fit everything on there. Um, but I don't do five by seven cards. so. I was going to be trimming off the bottom of the basket. You don't need the whole thing. You get the whole idea of what's happening. So I added um, one of his little arms and I popped the basket up on foam tape since we will be tucking in um, grass and Easter eggs. So I just want to make sure that's good and straight and then I will trim off the excess off of the bottom. And then we can attach his cute little arms underneath his body. And it looks like he's just hanging out in this basket. This was a really cute and fun card to put together. Using my uh, multimedia matte glue to adhere that down. And then I was like, I think I have the wrong arm in. I did not have the wrong arm in. Aren't we funny sometimes? It was like the inside of his ear that I was trying to use as his arm. <laughs> so again, trim off that excess. And then now let's get this bunny's little face put together. So start with the eyes. Like I said, you could cut this out of a colored cardstock and you could have really cute blue eyes or green eyes or brown, big brown eyes. That would be darling too. Maybe I'll have to try that. <laughs> then I'm adding his muzzle. Well, this is a her. I'm gonna quit saying him because I turned this into a girl. And you could pop these things up on foam tape if you wanted a lot more dimension behind the face. Um, I wasn't worried about that this time because I wanted the basket to be what was dimensional. So I'm adding the part down that is like the little mouth and the little nose. And then I was, this is where I was playing with a black nose or a pink nose and I wasn't quite sure. And both would be cute, but I felt like I really liked that soft pink. So I added the second die cut um, no, so that would stand up a little bit further also. And then obviously adding some pink inside of the ears. And there is a right side up when you die cut and I had that backwards and so I just had to fix that wiped off the glue and it was all good. So I think this bunny turned out really sweet and cute, very soft. Now, I took this um, green cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and I just sliced some really tiny little pieces, crumpled it up in my hand, cut it in half, and then I kind of twisted the bottom and tucked this into the basket so you could have that cute little grass that we always get in our Easter baskets that leave a huge mess for us mothers to clean up forever and find it forever and ever. <laughs> But I think this turned out so cute. And then I just trimmed it to the length that I wanted. Um, and I'm just going to keep adding that all the way across. I didn't add a ton. I just wanted the idea of it. But gosh, you could just go to town on this and add a ton of this. And you could do it in the different colors, pink, purple, blue, whatever you wanted. But I did like that contrast of green. So like I said, you just twist it together at the bottom, add a little bit of liquid glue, use, you, use a... I'm using my tool in one and just tucking that in and trimming that off. So now for the sentiment, I am using squeezed lemonade distress oxide ink because I really did want a bright yellow. And I just trimmed this out by hand because I also kind of wanted the sentiment to follow um, or the cutout to follow the sentiment. <clears throat> or you could do a straight sentiment strip, however you like it. I'm going to adhere that down onto the card with um, my multimedia mat. And then we're gonna be adding some color to the cheeks. I used a little bit of R00 for that. And then adding some eyelashes to this cute bunny. I, I have like a, it's called a, where's that at? A micro pin to add the eyelashes. It's a really thin pin. Now I'm adding in all the eggs that we've already die cut. 
deciding where they're going. And then I decided when I was doing this that I um, wanted jelly beans. Um, and so I did that from a Lawn Fawn stamp set that I totally forgot to write down, you guys. I am so sorry. I will have it in the description below. So I'm adding the eggs, the broken open eggs, some a little bit of foam tape where needed. Um, and it's going to be like the candy eggs that broke open, you know, that you get the little plastic eggs that are full of candy all the time. So that was my idea. Carrying down, finishing up with these eggs, trimming off anything so it can just tuck in if there's too much. This egg at the bottom, the one that's broken open, will have jelly beans spilling out of it. And that needed a little piece of foam tape underneath. So here are the jelly beans. And I'm just using um, the inks that I already have out. Twisted Citron, Squeezed Lemonade, Tumbled tumbled Glass, excuse me, and Spun Sugar. And then there's die cuts that go to this that I have, but I just quickly hand cut those. And I'm going to place those in and around the basket. Just a few here and there. We don't need a ton. I didn't want to overcrowd the image or overcrowd the basket. Just the idea of what's happening. Now here is this really cute little bow. And it's from Mama Elephant. It's called Dainty Bow. This has three pieces to it. It has two front bow pieces. And then it has the tail pieces of the bow, I guess. Is, I, that's what I'm calling it. Um, but the back piece has a little piece that you wrap around the front which hangs on to it and you can also add those little tail pieces to that. I did it a little bit differently and then I used my tweezers to hold it together while it was waiting while I was waiting for it to dry. Then I'm going to add it to this cute little bunny's ear. Add a little bit of white highlights with the gel pen to the eyes. And then I am using um, Ranger's Diamond Stickles to highlight the um, sentiment. I did want that to pop out a little bit and also to the jelly beans so that way you those would look separate from the eggs. And that was really um, pretty much all the detail that I added to this because I just think this was full of color. Um, you know it just really didn't need a whole lot of other adornment on there. I did add a little bit of white dots to the back with my gel pen and then it was done. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and supporting me. Um, if you like what you've seen, please thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. All of that is wonderful. All the supplies I used are listed below. There are some affiliate links. Thank you for using them. It costs you nothing, but totally helps me out. And I will be back here really soon, you guys. Thanks. Bye.